Greetings fellow engineers and welcome here on Tartarus Inc. In today's showcase we are taking a look at the Ravager Mark II by Tumble TV. But before that, as always, a short reminder of the Widdick Custom Skin Competition. Video link is in the description. But since we don't want to waste any time, let's jump right into my showcase and thoughts about Tumble's latest build. As said in the description, this is supposed to be a medium sized fighter with 4 passenger seats and 1 main cockpit. But in my opinion, that doesn't quite live up to the things this ship is actually capable of. But first, let's take a look at the exterior. This ship is beautifully designed. I especially love the angles and edges. The ship looks bulky from one angle, but sleek from another one. Something that you don't see often on comparable builds. Also, the thrusters are integrated into the ship very nice and don't stick out that much. So, good job here, buddy. What I also really like is the high level and sense of detail. So overall, a very good looking little ship. So what are the features of the ship exactly? Let's start with the basic stuff. You get a total of 4 Gatlin guns, 3 reloadable rocket launchers, 4 passenger seats, spotlights and cameras on various spots and a nice sensor gimmick for the lighting in the back. If you come in range of the sensors, the red lights go on and the green lights off. Now if we take a seat or leave the range again, the light switches. Now for the meat of this build and the reason why I really like it, besides the look. You have a total of 3 merge ports where you can attach several additional units to. For Tumble's release we get two different types of drones. The Rapier Gatlin drone and the Rapier Drill drone. But in my opinion this is just the tip of the iceberg. Think of the possibilities. You could also transport cargo, surveillance drones, portable med bays or whatnot. So definitely a build suited for any situation you could come in need of a ship. In my opinion this is an ideal option with a little bit of work on the desired modules of course. But for now the drones are a cool addition as well. Basically you can stay back sitting in your snuggly cockpit and let the drones do the dirty work. Without risking scratches or other damage on your beloved Ravager. Also a few hours ago he added a new version of the base Ravager, this time equipped with two Gatlin guns for the side gunners. Now for the handling. Acceleration and braking is top and it turns pretty well. Of course with attachments it's all a bit slower, but nothing that carries way too much. So overall a nice little build. Ok guys and girls, that's it for my little showcase of the Ravager by Tumble TV. What do you think of that little ship? Can you see yourself using something like this in survival? Write it down to the comments. And of course pay Tumble's workshop pages a visit and spread some love. But I guess you know the deal by now. I hope to see you all next time and as always keep on engineering and cheers!